Okay, so by now everyone has heard about chat GPT and its ability to write code. But for this video, what we'll be interested in is to see how far we can take it using the Arduino tone function. So to give you a pretext, let me quickly take you back to a project which we built like three, four years back. Let me share you the screen. So this is the project which I am talking about. What we have done is we have used the Arduino board uh, with a piezoelectric uh, buzzer to create various uh, uh, music using the tone function. Now, when I say music, it's mostly like the old reverse horn sound that you get in a Maruti 800 or an Alto if you had one. So I have recreated the same project here. Uh, we have an Arduino Nano, a push button and a buzzer. So I have also uploaded the same project code inside this and I when, when I press this button, you'll be able to hear a melody. I'm not sure if you get it, but it's from the movie Pirates of the Caribbean and this is the theme song. Let me quickly show you the code as well so that you understand what's happening here. This is the main uh, code file, but I'm not going to explain you the code. There is something called pitches.h. So what this does is it has a musical note from the keypad and it has a tempo defined to it. And then the main place uh, where we'll be discussing is this uh, themes.h section where we have actually taught the Arduino or have programmed the Arduino to play the Pirates of the Caribbean. So if you don't understand the code and everything, if you want a full explanation, you can go back to the old project and read it. This video is different from what that is. So what I'm going to do is we are going to take this notes, so give it to ChatGPT and tell, hey, see, this is how we write a tone function to Arduino. Can you write it for a different song? Let's say uh, if it can create it for the latest uh, Wednesday Adams web series song, because that song just keeps playing in my mind in loop. So let me quickly go over to chat GPT until hi can you please check this code the reason I'm being polite is definitely AI is going to take over and you don't want them to be mad at you so can you please check this code and tell me if you understand this so yes and here it goes it is explaining what the code is and it seems to understand what exactly is happening with the code. Now let's ask it to write it for some other song. Let's start with something very simple like, can you rewrite the code for happy birthday song? So there we go. Yes, it seems to be okay with that and it has given us the new notes function and the new duration. So let me just copy the notes from here, go back to our Arduino code, replace it with this and take the durations as well and replace it with this. Now, is this going to work? Is this going to play happy birthday? We don't know yet. I'm uploading the code and it's uploaded. Now for the moment of truth, I wouldn't say it's happy birthday, but it's close. Let's give it another try. So let me go back to the screen. And can you rewrite the same for, uh, let's try a different song. Um, jingle bells. Uh, pardon me for my spellings, but ChatGPT seems to get it. Okay, it's getting uploaded and it's done. So let me try it. This is accurate. This is very, very accurate. Let's try it once more. Great, it's getting me more excited. Let's try it for another song. This time what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it one step further and ask what other popular songs can you write this code for? So let's see what it answers. Okay, we have Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, OD to Joy, I am really sorry, I don't know if it is popular, Happy, again, I don't know if it is a popular song, I haven't heard it, but ChatGPT says that these are the popular songs and it can write the tones function. So how cool is this? Without any musical experience, you get to code your microcontroller with musical notes just using ChatGPT. So let me try Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because that's the only song I understand in this list. So we have Twinkle Twinkle 
and its duration so the uploading is done play this is perfect i am really shocked i think this is not scrapped from the internet i'm not sure maybe you guys can check it out if there is already a notes for these songs available on the internet and chat gpt is just you know fetching the data from there and throwing it out or maybe it is actually figuring out the equivalent tone value of the song from maybe a musical note somewhere and then figuring out the duration for already know and the equivalent uh, uh, notes from the pitches.h header file and giving it to us uh, i'm still not sure but i'm really really eager to try a complicated song now let's try the bloody mary from wednesday adams can you please write this for the song bloody mary from Wednesday Adams. Now I do know that ChatGPT doesn't have latest data, but Bloody Mary is really an old song. So fingers crossed. Let's see. Certainly here's a snippet that represents Bloody Mary song from Wednesday Adams. It seems to get Wednesday Adams as well. Okay, so the code is uploaded. Let's see. I don't think that was Wednesday Adams. So let's try some other song. Okay, so it has been quite some time uh, chatting with ChatGPT214. I have to accept that it is not as good as I thought it would be. But uh, what I understand is basically somewhere in the internet, if there is some relevant notes for that particular song, either in a musical form or in a text form, ChatGPT is able to give an accurate result. See here, for example, I asked for all popular songs and it gave me a lot of uh, notes and durations, but none of them were close to the actual song. Say, for example, we have uh, Shape of You by Ed Sheeran over here. I did copy the notes and I did copy the durations of that song, but hear this. This is nowhere near to Ed Sheeran's uh, Shape of You in any way. I'm not good in music, but even I can say that this is not Ed Sheeran's Shape of so to conclude i would say it is really good to have all these tools in our arsenal and which we can access for free which is the main thing but it is still good not to trust it completely one thing which worries me is the level of confidence it has in giving us wrong answers which is very very dangerous but that being said as i told you it's really good to have all this in our sleeve and use it whenever we need it to if you want to see more uh, similar projects maybe even use an OLED and ask uh, OLED with Arduino and ask ChatGPT to write bitmap images and see if we can do some designs of logo on an OLED display, maybe run a small animation. If you're interested to see all of that, uh, let me know in the comment section and I'll make a video for that. With that, it's Ashwin signing off. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.